Hello folks and welcome to the Adventure Cowboy Channel. I'm Clayton Markser. Today we're going to have a real fun video and that's because we have a special guest, Mr. Hootie Who from the Hootie Who YouTube channel. Did you have any idea he was that tall? Well, like I just said in the intro, Hootie Who is here all the way from Tennessee. He's going to come up and hunt with me for a week, looking for his first elk and hopefully a mule deer, maybe a whitetail. Yep. And he's pretty impressed with the country so far. We got about 75 antelope behind the camera and yep. he's seen all sorts of deer, turkeys. I'm going to try and show him a moose later today. But the main goal is to get him an elk and a deer. But before we do that, since he drove all the way from Tennessee, we're going to sight his guns in again here because we're at way different elevation. What elevation are you at? Um, 700 feet above sea level. And right here we're sitting about 5300. So uh, that does change everything uh, with your atmospheric conditions, with ballistics. So we're going to try and just make sure everything is ready to go so that we can set him up for success. Ready? I'm ready. Right. So Adam has brought a real cool gun up here to hunt with. It's not a typical hunting rifle, but it depends on who you talk to. <laughs> well, it's not a typical hunting rifle for the backcountry of Montana. Okay. Horseback hunts, anyway. Well, what do you got there? This is my absolute favorite rifle that I own. This is a Savage 110 BA Stealth in 338 Lapua Magnum but it's a big cartridge but it is a very sweet shooter the felt recoil is it's not real real bad at all you'd be surprised and that's a 4570 just for comparison they're big bullets yeah they are and this ammo these are 270 grain Hornady precision hunters it's pretty much match grade hunting ammo it's good stuff So, here lower. You're just left of the last one, about a quarter inch lower. I'm good with it. You're good with it. I'm good with it. Sometimes horses don't like ice, so just stay up close to me and let your horse follow mine. A little follow the leader. I see him.
good, that's good, that's good, right there. You can see him full frontal. Sit on your butt if you need to to get more stable. Let him turn just a little bit. Are you set for 414 yards? Yep, 1.8 mils. Okay. Just breathe. He'll move in just a second. If you need to readjust to get more stable, like sit down or anything, just go ahead. Yeah, just take some deep breaths and relax. He's not going anywhere. I'm recording. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Whenever you're ready. Well, folks, it's day three of the hunt here with Hootie Who up here in Montana hunting deer and elk with me. And uh, we've had a lot of fun so far and we've seen some stuff, had some opportunities. In fact, we both just missed opportunities at the same buck. Um, I had him at 220 yards with the Cimarron 1886, 4570. And I saw him stand up and he turned left broadside and I knew there was a rock in front of him but I thought he cleared it and at 220 yards with open sights I didn't notice that there was still rock in front of him and when I pulled the trigger I heard a smack I thought I killed him because he dropped right out of sight but looking at the footage I got a perfect heart shot on that rock yep. <laughs> and then Adam or hootie who he had a shot at the same buck a little bit later at 415 yards. Yep. And it just barely missed him to the right. Yep. Gave him a haircut. So now we're going to regroup, go back and get the horses, go find somewhere else or some more deer to chase. <laughs> he's you're sure he's down My man. yeah buddy yes he, he did a circle about a 10 yard circle shuffling pouring blood out of him good did you hear the bullet hit? yeah yeah 
I don't know if I got it on camera or not. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. Smoked him. 170 yards. I'll well, take that. The pressure is off. All right. I'll just lead the horse as you walk on out there. Is he on the opposite side over there? Oh, okay. He's on this space of that here. Oh, okay. Oh, I see him. That's awesome. I was ready to plug him with another one, but I saw blood coming out. When he had his head down, starting to show, I said, that's it. Well, you're not going back to Tennessee empty-handed now. Man, I'm so excited. All right, so real quick, can you give you a 30-second play-by-play? I told you we got on a good buck. Clayton got us chasing the buck, and we were on it for probably two hours back and forth. Yeah. Didn't drop the buck. We both shot at him. Yeah, we both shot at it and missed. I hate to say that, but I'll admit it. And then he said, well, let's make a circle and see if they're still around. And sure enough, he spotted a blasting going over this ridge. I came to the top of the ridge. I jumped off the horse went ahead of Clayton and the horses, and then over here behind me, I spotted out of the corner of my eye those goes, and that buck was still with him. And he, Clayton had given me his range finder. I yarded him at 175, dialed the mills on the scope, bam! And I popped him. He might have went five yards. He was impacted, and he did a little circle, and I saw him go down. So right now, hey, this is right after the shot, I'm going to go check out this deer. But I can't tell you how excited I am. I just dropped a Montana mule buck. It's awesome, buddy. Mule deer buck. Well, folks, we got it done. Mr. Hootie Who from the Hootie Who YouTube channel came out west for his first time and wanted to do some elk and deer hunting with me. And we've done both. Yep. We've seen elk sign, just no elk yet. And we've had a lot of mule deer activity. A whole lot. Uh, we've probably we seen this, over 100 mule deer. Yeah. Yeah, we had three or four different bucks we looked at. First night we had some in the glass, but the uh, scope was fogged up and just couldn't take an ethical shot. So he didn't, and we backed out. Decided to come again another day, and it worked out. This deer, we've been on him all day long. And, uh, <laughs> um, it's been fun though. Yeah. He was down in some, a bunch of rocks with some does and he's been chasing one doe all day. But, uh, we spotted the does and we sat there for a long time wondering where he went. And all of a sudden <clears throat> I saw him at about 220 yards and Adam was back behind me and I didn't know if he had a shot. And so I got out my Cimarron 1886. 4570 and I cracked off a shot at him at 220 What I didn't know was that there was a rock about the same color as him and I got this on video yep. At 220 yards with open sights. I could not tell that it was a rock in front of him and uh, Boy, I thought I hit him because I heard a whop, but we looked at the footage and I just heart shot at a rock and then Adam took a shot at him at 415 yards Yep. And it just went right in front of his neck, just a narrow miss. And then they took off and we kind of regrouped and tried to decide what to do. And I said, well, let's get on the horses and let's make a big loop around the direction that they went. And maybe we'll spot him again because he's so worried about breeding does, he's not running away too far. It doesn't seem like anyway. So we came headed this way and I spotted him at about 360 yards. And he ran over the other side of the hill away from us. So we rode a little closer. I had Hootie Hoo get off the horse and go ahead of us with his rifle. Because I was pretty sure once he got to the top of the ridge, looking down over here, that he'd see that buck. And uh, sure enough, 175? 
Yep, 175. 175 yard shot with a rifle that shoots 1500 yards. Yep. Pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> He's shooting a Savage 110 BA Stealth in 338 Lapua. And uh, he practiced out to a thousand yards before he ever came out here. And then we shot it again uh, the first morning he was here just to make sure everything was on. It turns out he didn't even need to use the dials on his scope, but he did anyway. <laughs> I'm I didn't sure, want to miss this guy. I'm sure glad Hootie Who came out here. This is the first YouTube collaboration that the Adventure Cowboy has ever done. So to have somebody with as many subscribers as Hootie Who come out here is a is an honor for me. And he's a good guy. And uh, he's become a really good friend over the years. So thanks for coming. Thanks for having me out. This is a beautiful deer. It's a dream come true. Never shot a mule deer. And this is the biggest deer I've ever taken in my life. So cool. Alright. What do you got there, Adam? Well, we found some grizzly bear tracks. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty big. Pretty cool. Today, I'm shooting a 50. Girls for the girls, baby. <laughs> yeah. Good shot. Good shot. So fun. What did you think of the BFR? That was pretty cool. I think it's extra points if you catch it in your hat. All right, this is Hootie Who. He's going to shoot the Borebuster Mark II for the first time. He's always saying he's like this rifle. So now we're going to give it a first shot. I like those uh, sights. I just go for that berm again. Go for the berm. Just under. Yeah, I like this. So what do you think? I like that a lot. Compared to other 4570s you've shot. Yeah, I'll trade my Marlin for that today. No, it feels good. I don't really like that pad. And the sights. It's easy to see those. Super easy to see. They're quick. Better Solid Borebuster Mark II and 4570. 
Well, folks, I'd like to thank Mr. Hootie Hoo from the Hootie Hoo YouTube channel for coming out here to Montana and hunting with me and letting me shoot his 50 and uh, his BFR. Just having a good time. I hope you had a good time. Uh, I had a great time. Was it worth the 27 hour drive? It sure was. All right. I smoked a good mule deer. Yeah, you I'm did. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, you did. And uh, you think you might come back? Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me out. All right. I need an antelope shelter. And I'm downhill from him, too. Good.